Harbor Hoist Valve Troubleshooting and Replacement. This video will focus on testing the valve and replacing it if necessary. Using a Phillips screwdriver, remove the four screws on the front plate. Lift up the control module front plate with the screwdriver and pull out. Locate the valve that is not opening on the bottom of the control. Note the two letters beside the valve, for example, FP or RP. Each valve has a number written on its cable, which corresponds to a valve location. For example, FP equals 2. Push the orange levers to release the valve wire leads. Using a 9-volt battery, connect the valve wire leads to the poles of the battery. If the valve does not open, then reverse the wire leads on the poles of the battery. If it still does not open, then you have a bad valve. Replace the valve. If the valve opens, then you have a bad control module PCB. If the valve is bad, you will now need to remove the housing. Using a Phillips screwdriver, remove the screws around the parameter of the housing. Place the control module PCB in diagonally into the control box enclosure and remove the housing. Disconnecting the level sensor cable from the control module PCB. Note the wire color and location in the connector before disassembling to guide you to properly reconnect it when reassembling. The board has a plus, minus, RX and TX stenciled on the board for reference. Push the orange levers and remove the wires. Remove the four nuts holding the air manifold to the back frame. Remove the level sensor cable from the control box enclosure. Grab the control box enclosure and blower motor and rotate up until the air manifold brackets clear the studs in the back housing. Pull back until the valve assembly clears the back housing. Remove the two socket Allen head screws holding the retainer clip of the valve system. With the clip removed, pull the valve of the air manifold. Note, remember or mark how the valve assembly was oriented in the air manifold so that you can put it back in the same way. Remove the wire leads from the control box enclosure. With a new valve, reassemble in reverse order. Replace the valve assembly back into the air manifold in the same orientation in which it was removed. Place the retainer clip and secure with the screws. Reinstall the wire leads back in the control box enclosure. Reinstall the valve and air box assembly back into the back housing and secure the nuts to hold the air manifold in place. Refeed the level sensor wire leads back through the control box enclosure. Reconnect the wires from the control module to the motor and attach the ground to the motor chassis. Reconnect the level sensor leads to the control module. Push the orange levers down and insert each wire lead. Tug on them to verify they are secure. Reconnect the valve leads to the control module by pushing the orange levers down and insert each wire lead. Tug on them to verify they are secure. Note the circuit board is stenciled with R and B for the colors of the wires for orientation. Power up the control and verify it operates properly. Reassemble the housing and front plate. Place housing over control module and allow the control module to slide through the opening. Reorient the control module front plate back in place. Secure front plate and housing screws back in place.